we're back again. It's all about the E-Hub on Caribbean Entertainment Hub. Today we're going to be taking a trip to the beautiful island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines with a talented DJ and soca artist who goes by the name of Kuiper 4000. That's him playing in the background. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the viral whining and tell me why in challenge, freestyle challenge, she's definitely going to be joining us in the e-hub and chatting all about the musical journey from being a talented, talented, well-known DJ into his artistry. I've already seen him on the live, so before we get the interview started, you guys head across to our link in bio. Be sure to click and follow us on our Facebook, check us out on Instagram, click on our website to see what's trending this week in Caribbean Entertainment News and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our coverage of Caribbean News. With the man himself, Kaiser 4000, who's already on the line. So share the live, guys. Share the live. You want to give some love? Hi! Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? My dear, I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your busy, hectic schedule to chat with us. We appreciate you. We appreciate the talent. And... We're excited because we want to learn everything there is to know about the man they call Hyper 4000. We leave it no stone unturned. So you're ready for this interview? Uh, yeah, man. Let's go. <laughs> nice. So I was really, really surprised to know that you came from DJing into art and being a full-time artist now. Do you still DJ right now? Yes, DJ is still... still... Fit it in my profession, yes, I do. You still do it because it's the first love, it's a genuine first love. Because of that, and I've been doing it for a while, so a lot of fans still insist I, I, <laughs> I, I do it. Is, it. is it hard balancing both, seeing that you already take off in the, the artist side and your, your, you know, your career is blossoming nicely? Is it hard balancing both? Very much so. At first, I, th I think it was, you know what I mean? I go be easy, but it's very challenging at times. All right, nice. So, let me back up a little bit. Um, tell us how you even got into becoming a DJ. How, what, what was that driving force that led you down the path? I mean, you have to love music off the bat. We know it's a yes, love yes. for music, but what made you decide, you know what, I think I could, I could do this DJ. Um, influence on friends. Um, my bigger brother is also a DJ, and um, that really, in, in a nutshell, <laughs> in a way, yeah. So how many how, how many years have you been um, a DJ before you decided to give the artist side a try? Um, roughly 15, 16 years, roughly at okay. a real tender age, you know. Uh-huh. What, what yeah. age did you start? Um, like, I think, um, I was like, um, 15, 16. Okay, yeah, nice, 16, that is nice. So in doing some research for this interview, I was, um, I mean, I knew the song, but I didn't know the face. Okay. So put any face for the song <laughs> and knowing mm -hmm. that you, you're a Soka Mona title poser. So, so, yeah, so walk us through that, that process. So you decide, okay, you're a well-known DJ, established DJ, popular in St. Vincent and the Grandview. Uh -huh. And you decided, okay, you know you're going to give the music a try. Giving the music a try, you didn't go into it with the mindset of like how things turned out. So was that surprising for you to, to get like this mega hit, get the title, touring, performing, and now established, fully established as an artist? Um... Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, lost I wasn't, I wasn't, at first, I wasn't to be honest, I wasn't really taking that um artist thing that you wasn't taking it. Um, oh, okay, my influence really come came from I'm um, sorry, um, going to the studios with other artists and stuff to hear this stuff before carnival and all uh, that, and mm -hmm. putting my little two cents into it, seeing I was uh, like upcoming DJ and already in the party feel already. So I kind of yeah. know what people like and what they go like to hear and you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm a kind of hard, very, very hard critic as well in a positive <laughs> way. So I, I think to be I mean? a DJ, you need to be. I think as a DJ, you need to be 
a harsh critic because, yeah, of course, you because know, a lot of music coming your way, a lot yeah. of songs, a lot of talented artists saying, okay, well, I have a hit and you have to be the heir to decide without bias, of course, but you still yeah. have to be able to listen and to know. And I think over, you've been doing this for a very long time. So I think yeah. from that, the, that first 10 seconds to 20 seconds, you could tell if a song is a hit or not. Yeah, so fast, I think that's like a natural talent yeah 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 and just so, just so, from going there in the studio uh-huh you know i always had a song where my cousin i always used to be singing you know and i just i told them guys man i have a song i feel well the year before i didn't make an attempt it wasn't too hearty hearty but i came so, so back and i told them man, I, have, I have you have, you have to critique yourself <laughs> Yeah, well, somebody wrote that song. So I didn't know okay. about holding keys and melodies. And I wasn't really done into that. So I tell them I have a song of my own who I'm comfortable with. Okay. I think I was playing around until I start <laughs> to sing it in the studio. Everybody got quiet. And I was like, all right, why everybody quiet? They're like, yo, that bad? You need to put that down. All right, let me put that down and see what's up. And then... The rest was history. It played so much that carnival, I didn't even know what to do. I was so shocked. But in the same space, it kind of motivated me. It kind of opened my eyes to a lot of other things as well. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when coming off a year like that, people meeting, you know, like, all right, then when next day, I know you're coming harder for them. I'm like, yo. <laughs> so so you were probably told it would have been a one-time thing. Yeah, so the, <laughs> but the pressure of the fans as well, I said, from there we'll continue to drop tracks. I, I wasn't really um, even still too serious until like okay. um, probably 2013. You know, we really went for it and stuff. And was there something that happened that made you decide to take it a little bit more serious or it was just life on the whole? Um... A lot of fight in the industry too, man. You know, a lot of artists get fight in the industry. I see real talented artists even more. I, I will say, you know, talented more than me. Just give up on it because, you, you know, the system and the fight as well. And I think, well, you know, it didn't really need all of that. And, you know, just to motivate others and motivate the people them around me, I just continue to do it. Okay. And like, then, you know, 2013, we decided, okay, we gave in this music thing a serious effort. Um, I think, what, what was the name of your first release? Was it Snap, um, Snap Snapchat? Snapchat? Yeah. yeah, was that it? My first official? release was officially really rap party. That's the one where they okay. really. I think maybe you're going to want to listen to that track. <laughs> 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 yeah, and um, we went from Snapchat, and then uh, three more years after, we're still doing a thing in between then. Show me a walk up was um a local hit as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Try to get in the soca monarch. Still, you know, they wasn't really taking me too serious. They was like, boy, this DJ boy, he feel he could sing, and this DJ boy, you know, the life, you know, the struggles. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. It's, um, it's like you have to prove yourself. You have to prove yourself worthy. Yeah, and then this Saturday, one week before soca monarch. Because I was like, you know what? I don't just sing. I forget about entering the soccer monarch thing. I was telling okay. my, 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 my team at that time around, I was telling them that. And then this Saturday, just before soccer monarch, JMCP came right home by me. And he was like, yo, man, taking part in soccer monarch. And I drop it out. And I think you should really be there and try to push it in because you're promising and you could do this thing. I'm like, yeah. Wah. But it was like one week before Soka Monarch, what I could really do. So we went in the studio, talked to the team. Everybody being realistic. They've been like, well, here we're going on. It's one week before Soka Monarch. Even if it's been two, three weeks, we know he ain't been going to win. Okay. <laughs> At least they could still go, stamp a foot, fans them could know. We yeah. Could promise yeah, them for yeah. the future. And so you're not putting that, that amount of pressure on yourself. You're not putting, you're not yeah, going into different pressure. No pressure at all. Actually, that was my best soca monarch ever. <laughs> I, I overstayed my time on stage. I had real fun. 
Because you didn't have a clear in the world. You just there to make an appearance. Yeah. <laughs> the year after, we didn't really get to release the tracks them we wanted to release. Yeah. I always like to sing for the girls them from, from day one. I always like, because Soka Monarch was nothing for me. I more, I more was attracted to Road March and those kind of stuff. Oh, so, so you like um, the kids. You like that, that high energy. Yeah. Because on the road is peace. On the road is power, Soka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So power, Soka, always my stuff. And then that year, 2014, we had a lot of hiccups in Soka Monarch. Like, really sad, rah roughness and toughness and how people could be smiling today and when they meet you on a competition day is like a different ball game like felt the rat especially yeah, at the yeah. 2014 and i was very upset but i said you know in life you always have to try to keep your composure so we went i display what i had to display and i promised the people they may see the next day we're going to win something <laughs> funny enough i was watching back i was watching back that same um, 2014 so come on up. and I watch back when I really said it and I was like yeah and 2015 we came out real successful we came, um, got my first um, road match title with Dirty Dancing that really took how, over how much did that feel though like, the, like how was that accomplishment for you was it kind of a bit surreal not really like <laughs> How I've been pushing for it for a while because even uh -huh. on Snapchat, even if it was my like my first first um track, it's like people yeah. would tell you like people who went carnival back in that year tell you like boy yeah hyper oh. you should I get that twenty thirteen <laughs> people could have tell you the same thing you know what I mean nah like I didn't get no placement in in none so I've been like mm -hmm. alright. And mind you, I had Dirty Dancing even, um, in 2014. We just had it and we just like, you know what? Hold on to it. See when it's kind of all going, just relax. At least we uh -huh. have something now ahead of time. Because most of my tracks are just like, all right, carnival coming up. All right, time for jump in the studio after Easter. Make a song. Do whatever. If we have to shoot a video, that's that, that. And then we'll go along with it. Mm -hmm. So we actually had a track now. We had a whole year to prepare, do all of that. And the rest was history of that one. Like, that was the first track for me. I was like, gosh, man, I fell up here. This track on the road, man. But people <laughs> just never got enough for it because it had a dance to it as well. It had a dance to it. Yeah. But remember, and, you here, and it's a whole year and months prior to the crowd being introduced to it. You in the studio, you know where you have coming and everything. Yeah. So my time reach our ears. It's fresh, yeah, but so yeah. you are the artist, you ready to move on because you you already fell yeah. up on the track. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and the year after was even more success. I took a um, road march and took a monarch. Wow. That year, you know what I mean, and. The rest he doesn't of the collect any titles. He just kept racking up titles. Yeah, I mean, well, titles never really, it never, titles never really bothered me because I had a different mindset still. I, I my mindset mm. was so, you know what I mean? As an artist, as a Vinci, you should just yeah. try to bring quality music and get the music out there. And I was more on the, on the business marketing side. Okay. Like, we need to get with flag out there. More artists need to be, be out there. More artists is more opportunities. Yeah. You know, I, I, I never thought... I had tunnel vision, but I never really thought that... Uh, like, look at stuff and, and be selfish about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, you know, next 10 years, 20 years, it's going to be a different, you know, a different well, younger yeah. hyper photos coming through. I'm mashing up the place same way. So, I mean, we had to just build our legacy, do our thing, and just keep it moving. I know you um, earlier you had mentioned the fight down in the early years. Has that changed? Do you feel now um, you're seeing more support and unity among artists, more support? And, no, nah, man, you know it's even it worse now, man. <laughs> <laughs> We try to stay positive, mm. but but I, I mean I understand. I mean, if you want me to be honest, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely, yes. definitely. We we know where the territory comes at, but I've also seen, especially with the whole COVID and everything happening, people being a little more humble, if that's the right word, and understanding that it, it's it bigger than them now. So it, yeah. there may be a, a shift with the mindset, but I guess it's left to be seen. Uh-huh. Yeah, left to be seen. <laughs> Um, you, I noticed that your, your music have that, that common thread of, of um, it's for the ladies. It's, it's those anthems to make females feel, you know, that's break loose to the party you now. Is that yeah, intentional? Most of them. Is that and, intentional? And that, that, that coming from the DJ part of me because, okay. like, if, even to play in a fete, uh, even in, when I have my events, it's, it's more ladies than men. Yeah. Because that that is just my style of playing. I always like, you know, to play for the ladies, them to whine, tell them to do this and so it's just something in me. I just take it and put it into the record, my style. My way, you know. Yeah. And I and I guess from a, a promoter or business person point of view, like they want to make sure that the females are the ones interested in coming to events because once females there, the men will follow. That is why it's have like ladies free and men have to pay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know so what what the females there, men men showing up by the numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys always get it get it nice. <laughs> I mean we, we enjoy the perks. We enjoy the perks. So so tell us about how this is is whining freestyle come about. Is it really a freestyle? Or are you just calling it that? Was it really a freestyle? Yeah, it was actually really a freestyle. Just saw the way them and I, I was like, boy, this this is like a walkout thing, boy. I just had to give them girls like a walkout wine thing on this. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just freestyle everything. The only the only part I made up in the studio is the last part with um for the money, girl. For the money. Yeah, because I actually have a song named I'm um, Give Girls Money. Yeah, yeah. And I had that in the ending as well. But I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna release this tune. <laughs> uh, let me just put that. Let me just put that in the ending because it was kind of for, for me. It was kind of short, and then you know my producer, big up fresh. He was like, "My yeah, that some good put it and then we just put it and that was it. That it. My recorded that like ten minutes in the studio, man. I would be out <laughs> boom. But 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 as an artist, right? Because you know the creativity does strike like you can't you can't plan it. You doesn't know when it's gonna come, how it's gonna come. Facts. Are you that comfortable in trusting in the process like like that? Like, you know, some people who real perfectionist mindset would feel the need to re like if it come too easy, nah, that is not the song. You had to sit down and really put pen to paper. Nah, and stuff nah, and you know, I'm, I'm a spiritual man too, and, and you know, I always work with the universe. So you know, once you yeah. send that, I'm I'm going with it. Like, and you trust my, it. You trust my, most of my hits them is is five minutes and ten minutes writing. Dirty dancing was like. 15 minutes whining too hard was the shortest like whining wow. too hard was actually a freestyle as well okay yeah mm -hmm. that's not just how to call you the freestyle boss <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it, that's just my style of doing it as well too yeah <laughs> because I've, I've, uh -huh. at the same time you have to have fun in it that yeah. the soca music all about is happy music is 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 good energy so you can't really like put too much into it and read too much into it you know what i mean the, especially power soca yeah because there's yeah. much phrasing you could do in power soca so it just just do your thing don't overthink it <laughs> yeah don't overthink it don't overthink it all right nice well i've been hearing the song well since it released it's been it's been um the the song for like those ca cardio classes in gym, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, like the team uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of gym, like especially like those um the ones that's a lot of dancing and stuff, zumba and all these different things there. Yeah. Anything yeah. with pace and burn, uh -huh. they use it and like that. Yes. I mean, well, we have been under some restrictions and stuff with COVID and whatnot, but it's on heavy rotation on the radio, social media yeah. doing their own thing. With Trinidad, it, those Trinidad those was, was um like actually one of the first place so really. Like besides seven, so we really start to get back some good feedback today, you know. Mm. And you know, and once you're in the Trinidad market, in especially in soca, as yeah. they, as 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 big old people will say, yeah, they good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So 
Yeah, I was I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, and, and it's still building. It's still building a lot of momentum. Yeah, I man. It's it actually still building. Like, yeah, it's almost like, at a million views on YouTube. So just now you'll be celebrating yeah. on my phone. Are we getting any visuals with this? Um, I'm thinking about it. A lot of fans, a lot of people keep telling me, you know, I need to put some visuals to it. But, you know, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm onto new things already, you know what I mean? I'm onto new <laughs> things already, but... Mm -hmm. I, I can't come to the visuals because you know what I mean you, you, you had a you had a you had a focus on what working for you at the same time. You know what I mean? You had a focus because you know that visual could take you to a next level at another level yeah. at another level. Yeah. And you and you had to give the fans what they want. You had to yeah, give exactly, the fans exactly. what they asked for. <laughs> exactly, that's so true. Yeah. So, new music, because we know you're in the studio, we know you're so busy, um, and we have a lot more things coming. So, share with us what we, we could expect. I know we're still riding the momentum of um, the freestyle, but what, what, what do you have on um, your right? I actually have another new kind of wind-up song. It's out there on <laughs> Apple Music already. Um, okay, what It's not really fully released as yet, but it, it it's... It's already out there, leaked already. What's the name of it? Um, Watch Her Go, I think it is. Watch Her Go. Yeah, so if, 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 if you have like Apple... Like a TikTok I, challenge in the making. If you do Apple Music, definitely do Apple Music, it's a Coco Rhythm. Okay. Yeah, so you could check that out. Um... Uh, also working on a nice project as well. Um, a more groovy soca one. I'm really excited about that. Look out for that one soon. Yeah, I'm really so excited about that one. you're finally jumping on the groovy train and accepting it because we know you love power soca, so you're starting to like the yeah. groovy side of things. I do, I do a little bit of groovy. I do a lot of writing when it comes to groovy, though. You know, you do for okay. other artists and stuff. I do, I do, I do a lot of writing. Groovy, I'm more right. Okay. Groovy, the ones I more sit and write. You know, I, I have one. I really like it. I think, it, I think people gonna like it. Um, we just putting that together. Uh -huh. Hopefully, before the year out, we're gonna drop it. Any, any kind of collab on the horizon? Any collabs or artists that you would I like mean, to work with? I have, I have a ton load of collabs out there with the artists. I, I, I know it's not really my idea, but it's their track. I don't know why okay. they out yet, but we have some tough thing out there, man. But are there any male or female artists that you personally would like to work with? Um, a lot. A lot because for me, I, th I think, um, especially so collab, collab is, is very important. It's very important, mm -hmm. you know, to um, merge cultures and all of that. You know what I mean? I, I always like this stuff with like a Dominican and a Grenadian and a track, a Vinci and a Bajan because, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? The same West Indian culture, but as a is as a island, we had different little cultures and, you, you know, yeah, and I think it's so really nice when I hear the different um dialects on a song together. The yeah, man, because that's what Soka really all together. about, you know, is together this so nice. But, but so, collabs um, out there, man, a, a lot of tracks out there. I guess when them artists we look it, we look it for what it and we waited, we waited for all these anthems, freestyles, releases, collabs that's on its way, definitely paying attention. Um, and yeah. hopefully when things open back up, you will be touching down in Trinidad again and, and mashing up the stage. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we know you've been here. I think it's a few times you've been here. I saw the interview that you did on Ojo. The, um, yeah, with... I think that was the last time I was there. Okay. Yeah. I know, no, no, no. We came, we came after. We came, yes, we came after. Um... No, that was the same interview, man. We never, I never really come back long training that since. Okay, okay. So, so you definitely need to change that. You need to, you need to, to come yeah, back. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. 
because we do love the music down here that we are definitely yeah I, I, I realize that and a lot of people so you, have, no, you, have, no, you have to give us that, that love back <laughs> where are you based right now I, i'm i'm in new york right now okay okay I'm were you out there right for now. like the whole miami carnival and stuff as well yeah i did miami carnival miami carnival was nice how how was that experience post covid a bit how was it this was my second time and uh -huh. it was no different from the first like it, it was even extra vibes like people did really miss the road and stuff yeah <laughs> yeah it, it was yeah boy like my mechanical is woman <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I think I think it had like a bigger turnout, if I'm not mistaken, because so many islands had to cancel due to COVID. Yes, it did. So when they it did, it did. That Miami having something, people just went in that direction yeah. <laughs> just to get the experience that they were but, missing out. And know? it's a very good carnival as well. The way yeah, it's structured yeah. everything, it's a, it's a, it, it, it's the future when coming to carnival. Big up it's definitely been afraid. growing. Definitely, we had some coverage out, out there, and it's it's doing pretty well on our channel as well. Because people who couldn't have made it wanted to still partake and see stuff, you know. So yeah, mm -hmm. it was definitely a vibe. So um, as an artist, as a DJ, could you give persons who are probably looking on and interested in both sides of the entertainment, the DJ aspect and the artistry, what advice you probably pass on? To My, them? you believe in your own vision and your own thing and work. No matter what, walk. Find a way and just walk. You think you hide bad? Somebody had worse than you. Just walk. And always pray. Always pray and have faith. You know what I mean? Because good works don't go underneath the table at all. The right person at the right time going to see you and you're going to get that push and that vibe and that help. Keep walking. And, and how would you... um? encourage them to deal as you say with the the struggle aspect of things within the industry yeah, developing that thick skin um i mean i don't i don't believe in that developing that thick skin because we are humans you know and yeah. what might hurt me might not hurt you or, or hurt you might mm -hmm. hurt me but um at the same time and i learned this from experience um just just try to there's a positive in every negative man try to hold that mindset and and i i can't stop stress and the praying as well you know what i mean because you know, i think that that, that helps you to to stay focused helps you to remain to be at peace with whatever happening outside yes. of you and trusting yes trusting any bigger process of everything even if you can't see what's happening just know that it might not look like, you know, there's positives in it, but it yeah. have the positives in it. And if I just, as you say, stay faithful to the journey and stay faithful to yourself and understand that and trust the process, you know that it's going to work out for your good in the end. Mm -hmm. It's about being That's patient true. while you're being so true. So I so totally, true. totally get that. So I mean, totally, it might totally. sound cliche, but it's, it's so true. It's so true. I know, and then sometimes people are looking for these you know, like all these hidden advice and, and, and shortcuts and stuff and it's in the simplicity of life that have all the gems and we bypass that to go to look for everything else. Facts. Yeah, yeah. So anything else you want to share with us before we wrap this up? Um, I mean, if you're on social media and things, you just, you just need to follow the eye. You know what I mean? Follow <laughs> me on Instagram right here. Hyper the school 4000. You need to follow me on um. Facebook, I have um, an artist page on Facebook, Hyper 4000. I have a personal page, I hardly does be on sometimes, um, Hyperactive Songs. Yeah. And um, you could also follow me on Twitter. I'm, I'm pretty heavy and more open up a lot on Twitter. Um, That's right. Hypes. Like, like, yeah, I know most artists, artists are Instagram. most artists are heavy on the Instagram, but... Uh, I'm not a fan of Twitter. I just don't really understand it and I just stay far. <laughs> ah, it's very nice. Saying, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice? It's nice. And it's the originator. Come on. It's, it's trust me. Facebook, <laughs> well, IG, everything is the rip off, man. <laughs> they got the Twitter fans there right now. They got everybody <laughs> on Twitter. 
right. And before you go though, um, how did you get the name Hyper Four Thousand? That's a that's interesting. I mean, um, it's it's it stems from uh, my DJ crew and and even my my DJ name because uh, um everybody used to call me Shady Hypes, you know. Mm -hmm. So um starting to sing now, and again a little buzz now. And I say, all right, now he's an artist. So I say, I'm as an artist, boy, what artist name, boy? So everybody <laughs> just call me Hyper for short. So I'll be like 4,000. So they man like, what? Where are you going with the 4,000? I say, man, the 4,000, just some futuristic. So <laughs> I say, yeah, that name, bad. So we just went to the Hyper 4,000, and the rest is history. It's, it's, I feel like it's an alter ego topic that you switch on because in having this conversation, your personality is so laid back and humble, but that side of you is so activated. And, now. And, until I have a mic in my hand. I, until yeah, I, have yeah, a, until yeah. I put the voice projector in my hand, it's a different, it's a different piece. But otherwise, I'll be chilling, man. You'll be chilling. Nice, yeah, nice. I'll be chilling, I'll well, also, we want to tell you thanks for taking time to chill with us in the e hub. And we definitely yeah. be looking out for new releases. As soon as you have them out, send them message, email. We are definitely support as much as we can. We're looking out for the visual that you, you might be sending our way yeah. for the free time. <laughs> and just want to say, Very keep soon. up the good news. Keep up, um, keep up staying true to yourself. Keep up the process of, you know, just trusting in your talent. And despite what's going on okay. around you, keep that blinders on. And yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Nice, nice. Thanks we got, we reached too far to turn back now. We'll be going. <laughs> Definitely. <again. laughs> Take care. All right, then.